Hey YouTube, this is Patrick, and this is my review of the second episode of the second season of The Walking Dead. It was called Bloodletting. Um, it was solid. It was um, it wasn't as good to, good as the premiere, but you know it needed to slow down. Uh, you knew from the way the premiere ended, it was either going that they were either gonna have have to find somewhere where Carl could get surgery, um, or he was gonna die. So and you knew he probably wasn't gonna die. Um, so it slowing down was not uh, unpredictable. Um, they got him to what's I guess gonna be called the farm. Um, we it was weird because we were introduced to a lot uh, like a group of new characters, but the only ones that we really got a good sense of was you know the main guy that was a veterinarian, um, and um, the guy that shot Carl that. Uh, I just saw him in the movie Identity, um, recently, actually. Um, but yeah, otherwise we didn't really get a good sense of them, and with everything going on with Carl, and then, you know, meeting up with the other group, heading back to the, uh, to the RV, and Dale and everything, um, I don't think this just wasn't really enough, uh, time. And actually, new characters like that, you gotta kinda think that the show's not gonna have this giant cast, so, um, it's going to be a, uh, a wonder to see how many of them make it out this season, and uh, if they're even going to be replacing some of our original people that might not make it out this season. Um, but either way, you know, it's something new. Usually that's what season two does. You introduce new people. you got to expect it. We'll see if we like them. And, um, yeah. Uh, everything with Carl in this episode, the way Rick was reacting to it, um, and uh, Lori uh, and Shane, everything was just really well done. Uh, that was the best part of the episode. Um, it felt, oops, it felt pretty genuine. Um, just, uh, and the idea that they might be perform- I mean, he has, like, five more shards in there from the, uh, from the bullet, and they have no anesthetic, uh, could have a problem. That, that might be, might be an issue. Um... But, uh, yeah, so all, all of that stuff was really good. Um, the, like everything else, you know, um, what's her name's mom? The girl that went missing. Sophia's mother. Is it Carol, I think? Yeah, she was, got, not that she got over everything very quickly, but, I mean, I guess we don't want to watch her be, be hysterical for weeks on end. Um, we don't want, like, a, a law situation where she yells Walt, or, I guess, Sophia in this case, throughout the whole season. Um, hopefully they find Sophia soon enough, anyway. But, uh, everything else with them, Daryl, you know, had a, uh, a stash of pills, and he was helping again. He killed the one zombie in the episode. Um, well, up until the end. Uh, T-Dog, I barely paid attention to what he was saying. Um, but, uh, you know, he was just really not happy, which uh, is a common theme for most of the characters on the show. Um, surprisingly enough, the show has not gotten depressing to the point where it's too depressing. Um, but uh, we'll see about that one. Uh, let's see what else. Um, I don't have a whole lot to say about this one because other than the stuff with Carl... I don't really think there's that many like huge developments. If I'm, I, I can't really remember. Um, now at the end of the episode, uh, Shane went with um, the guy that shot Carl to get some medical supplies, and they got trapped in a little closet room with a little tiny gate uh, holding them off from the uh, from the walkers. Um, so you know we'll get at least started off next week with like a nice little action sequence, uh, plus the stuff with Carl, plus everything with the other group, so, um, things I think will move a little bit, uh, faster next week, probably, than, than this week, uh, but, uh, we'll see, we'll see, oh, the show got picked up for a third season, so, um, whether or not the show's gonna survive without Frank Darabont, we're not gonna really find that out this season, because it's already picked up for next year, so, um, you know, let's just hope for a good season where everyone's looking forward to season three. And, uh, yeah. I think that's all I got. Um, you know, this was the 
weakest show I watched on Sunday night because I watched Dexter and then this and and then Boardwalk Boardwalk Empire. Um, it was a weird sandwich of television where the like two slices of bread were better than the um, whatever. I guess meat in the middle, zombie meat. Um, yeah, I don't know. Like those two things were better Sunday night. But uh, it'll be interesting to see how that turns out next week. So, okay, I will be back next week with another one of these. Um, I'm probably going to do a review. I just finished uh, the video game L.A. Noir. So um, I might be talking about that tomorrow. Um, but until then, see ya.